Uh, I just want to give my full complete thoughts uh, on my experience as a beta tester for Halo Infinite, the live service uh, seemingly disaster that's coming. Um, this is this is it. I'm going to outline all the problems I had. I'll let you know if I like anything. And let's just get into this. So, problems I had with it. They got rid of red versus blue. It's hard to tell who's your friend, who's your foe. That was a problem. The aiming fell off for everybody, whether you were on controller or mouse and keyboard. Uh, number one thing, they should not be allowing PC players and mouse and keyboard people to play against controllers. That is fucking bullshit. They're going to have a massive fucking advantage. It's freaking ridiculous. Um, the fact that it's a live service is the one thing that's going to kill this game and make it a piece of shit. Because everything's going to be sectioned out, priced uh, to you. You know what I mean? Like, the game isn't complete. That's a big, big problem. Uh, this is the first live service for Halo ever. It's always been uh, what you would call a completely, say, paid release. And now it's, uh, you know, you're getting co-op. Um, maybe you might get co-op. They'll probably just cancel that. But uh, they, 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 they promised they would, it would always launch with split screen. They would never make the mistake that they did with uh, Halo 5 again. And, well, they did. And... Now they say it's coming three months out. The reason they're having such a problem with because you're not getting a normal campaign. The campaign's going to be trash. It's not going to be an awesome campaign with really cool set pieces, really great levels, and cool cutscenes and all that. It's going to be like Assassin's fucking Creed where you have a hundred different things on the map. Blow up a, a gun. Hunt down this value target of the banished. So you're going to have all these uh, little icons on the map that you can go to to fill out the story and then... I've already read some of the leaks on what the game's going to take, or how the game's going to play out, and uh, it ends with Master Chief bringing uh, his contractors, uh, bringing the Cortana 2.0 to something, and then it just ends. Uh, I don't know, it's just, it, it, it's not looking good. This is not what I wanted. This is not what I was looking forward to. Um, and while the game feels a bit better than Halo 5, it's essentially, basically Halo fucking 5. Um, you die really quick. They need to uh, raise the time to kill. Um, vehicles are completely useless again. They're basically death traps. They're entirely useless. Um, they've ruined a big team battle. It's no longer, you know, weapons spawning on map either. It's all in stupid, retarded weapon soccer. So there's no more fighting over map control, you know, fighting over the rocket launcher, over the bridge, the, getting the sniper around this bend here. It's no longer like that. It's, it's random ass fucking weapons and stupid lockers that rotate in fucking chains and they can change up at any time. It's so fucking dumb. Oh, ruining, you know, basic core tenets of Halo gameplay and whatnot. And then, you know, Big Team Battle ruins it again with the stupid Pelican. So, you know, before Big Team Battle, okay, you know, does the is the enemy's tank up yet? Do they, you know, do we destroy their Warthog? Do we do different things? You don't, what, uh, vehicles don't spawn on the map anymore. They're at pre, like, locations they basically have to fight for control over, essentially. So nobody has a vehicle. Like, you, you hardly ever get in vehicles, and it's very rare. And by the end of the match, that's when, you know, you finally get an opportunity to get into a tank. Totally ruining and breaking that gameplay. And, you know, sprints obviously back, and, uh, you know, and it's like infinite. You can just basically just keep running and running and running and running and running. You know, you, you got that problem. Uh, the aiming is off. Oh, wait, what else did I like? Uh, I like the commando. I think I said that in a previous video. Uh, some of the weapons were kind of cool, like the heat weave. I kind of thought that was a cool weapon, but... Oh, uh, the vehicle destruction is totally shit. Uh, go look at uh, compare vehicle destruction of um, Halo 3 Ghost versus Halo Infinite Ghost. And you're telling me this is a complete fucking game. You're telling me this is worth six years and this incredible new slip space engine. Right? Uh, Forge not coming out for six months after launch, basically six months, you know, the b game will be dead by then. Will we even have the option to make a traditional big team battle? Will we even have the options in there to be able to have a vehicle spawn on map naturally like the old school way? Will we really get a, a real traditional Halo? Is it going to be this battle pass, Fortnite fucking system? And the leaks have already said that there's going to be a battle royale being added into the game. You know, it's like it's very it's very disappointing i am not impressed while i did have some fun with it because i met a lot of good people in there 
everybody seemed to be having mics, people were communicating, and we were having a good time playing together as a group. But you can have fun doing almost anything with it. If you get a great group of people together, you can play a really shitty fucking game and have a good time with it. So that's not uh, necessarily a compliment to, to the series. So yeah, um, Halo Infinite looks like it's going to be, as I said in my last video, an, an infinite disappointment, infinitely missing features, and Halo coming after launch. Maybe that's what they should call this game. Uh, you know, I'm glad they got rid of, uh, you know, a lot of the armor abilities and things that were in there, and they've made some of these things as uh, power-ups you can pick up, limited-use power-ups on the map. That's a good thing. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's not looking good, guys. This isn't Halo. This is something else. They're changing everything. You die really, really quick. They're, they're literally changing everything. Um... I don't even think Covenant are even in this. It's all Banis. That's the only enemies you face. So, you know, goodbye, you know, Plasma Rifle. Goodbye, Covenant Carbine. Goodbye this, goodbye that. You know, it's... I'm not happy. I'm I'm not impressed. I, ha I had a mild bit of fun because of the people around me, but was I really that impressed? Was I really enjoying myself? Was it this stellar awesome game? No, everything's coming after launch. And how long after launch? We should be getting a complete game, and then when we get DLC, we get DLC that's fucking worth it, that's worth paying the price for that DLC. I'd much rather pay DLC than shitty free updates, because shitty free updates means you're getting actual game content that should have been there at fucking launch, given to you. Oh, praise me, praise me, look at all this free DLC you get. Really? Thank you for giving me 10% of a game and eventually giving me the rest of it over the next couple, several years, uh, piece by piece. Thank you so very much. It's uh, it's not looking that great, and you know, force positivity in in gaming. That's uh, something. That's a lot. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Well, silence is compliance, and I'm not going to be silent. This is not a game for the classic Halo fan. Halo is not back. They're merging it with Call of Duty. They're merging it with other things. It's not quite as heavily bad as it was in Halo 5 is definitely a better feeling game. If you're a classic Halo fan, you will enjoy the feel of this more than Halo 5, but that's not really saying all that much. It's looking very bad. The campaign does not look good, how the whole campaign is structured, how it works out, why they can't even put co-op to begin with because of how everything spawns isn't working. Oh, and there's another thing too, the spawning, and it was awful. So many times I'd kill somebody, they'd spawn right back behind me and kill me. You know, at least in all the other, sorry, at least in all the other Halo games, when you spawn, you had a moment to where you're alone, to where you're not under fire, to where you're protected, to where you can plan how you're going to move out. With this, you don't have that, especially you run around with, like a chicken with your head cut off, die spawn, die spawn, die spawn. It's, you know, a lot of the nuance is gone. Well, they attempted to bring some of the, uh, you know, the Halo sandbox, as they like to call it, back. And man cannons returning as a movement traversal of the map is good. You know, th there are some positive aspects to it that there could be some hope. Like, if this was not a live service trash game, if this was an actual proper release, not a fucking live service... Right, this could be could have been something really fun, but because of the live service and how they've had to change the game to suit that, it's really fucked the game. Because there are some some elements I like here. There are some things that I did enjoy. Some things that were kind of fun, and you know that if it wasn't a live service, that they could have really fleshed out the things that I did like a lot more, and it would have been a lot better. But I'm, uh, yeah, it's not good, you know? Like, every weapon you can basically kill across map. There's a lot of glitches and bugs and, Oh, it's just a beta test! It's just a beta test! It's a technical test! Really, motherfucker? It's about to launch within two bloody months. You really think they're going to be able to do a lot of work on that in that time? No, they're going to be working on this shit all the time. The game's not done. It's early access trash. That's what live service is. Early access garbage. 
It's not a complete game. It won't be a complete game for another three years, four. They claim it's going to have a 10 year plan. Both you and I know there's going to be another Halo game within 10 years. Both you and I know this piece of shit will not last 10 years. Both you and I know that for a fact. This is no 10 year plan, but this game might be semi complete within, I would say, three years. That's when they finally add all the content that was supposedly planned. And remember, they, they've scrapped this. It, it's almost feeling like Anthem, you know, to where they've scrapped everything and redone it. And they've changed uh, how they're making the game. It, it's, how, it's like Anthem. It's, it's like a Destiny. It's like, this is not Halo. 343 is incompetent. And, and it's the leadership there that's a, a major problem. Frank O'Connor and Bonnie Ross both need to be hung by their neck and their heads put on pikes. These motherfuckers should be gone. These pieces of crap are really ruining this franchise. Really ruining it. These are the people that advocated for live service. These are the people that are running the show. These are the people that are doing that. It's the leadership at 343 that's the problem. Anyways, that's all I got to say. Halo, is it back? No, and it never will be. You'll never get a good Halo game again. Remember the good old days. And uh, they're shutting down all the services for classic Halo. So basically the only way you can enjoy Halo Online is with MCC, which still to this day doesn't work right. Still to this day is broken. They add skins, they add all these different things, change the menu, but they won't have campaign co-op work properly. They won't have certain things. They keep claiming they're adding all these things to it, but they won't fix fundamental frigging issues that are still there to this day. I'd rather play Diablo 2 uh, Remastered. I'd rather play, you know, any other game at this point. Halo is not looking, it's not what it used to be. Peace.